Uh, we felt it was really important to be part of today. The soft drinks industry is really used to handling some big, big changes. I guess the soft drinks industry levy would have been the last big change. And I think the DRS return system that's proposed is going to be the next big change. We're firmly of the belief that both um, cans should be included and certainly plastic should be included. We'd like to see other products included as well. However, there are some difficulties with that in terms of, for example, glass. Um, and some maybe some dairy-based products from a hygiene point of view. But that, that, those things aside, fundamentally the scheme should ideally be as broad as possible. Having simplicity of message is absolutely key to making a successful deposit return scheme work. There's still a lot of unknowns when it comes to the, the, the scope of a system and which products should be included. It needs to be a balance between uh, making sure that on-the-go is dealt with and then curbside again is, is not undermined. And Of course, if, if small retailers are going to be part of this system, and having very large bottles uh, could mean that people are more likely to, to bypass small retailers and just go you know, off to supermarkets because they'd be more likely to take them in the car. So all of those are things that need to be considered as part of the scheme. So if retailers were um, required to take back bottles and cans manually, there are a range of issues there, not least with health and safety and hygiene, especially for retailers that are serving food over the counter as well. That causes a, a whole range of problems. I have my worries about glass, about the size of the machines and implications of, of my own staff, you know, handling glass, etc. So that would be a worry for me. There's that many different sizes of stores uh, in, the, in the convenience sector. What I would like to see in the sector is that it was it would be up to the individual if they were want to go DRS or not. I think there's been a lot of lessons learned on both sides from from me trialling it as a retailer and the packaging side. But to get it to work, we need to work together. It's not a silver bullet. There is no silver bullet to the problems of litter, waste, resources and overconsumption, unnecessary consumption. You know, we must remember this is not a theoretical exercise. Deposit return schemes work well in many countries around the world. There's absolutely no reason why it can't work in the UK. Now, if we can get it earlier, great, but just getting it by 2023 will be success. There's so many myths out there at the moment. It goes to China, it gets incinerated, it goes to landfill, and the more that we can build schemes that demonstrate that no, uh, it stays in the system, it gets closely recycled, it goes back into the products that you subsequently buy, I think people's confidence in recycling will increase and people will recycle more.